Alright guys, uh, we're here back with another review. This is Mike. And this is Sean. Here, coming from 161 Power Sports, located in Grand Prairie, Texas. Uh, as you can see, we have this beautiful trike Y model. It's a Spider 200cc. Uh, on the front, your nice two wheels, and then obviously one in the back. Uh, get it closer on this. Check it out. Check out this front. Very, very sturdy, I'm telling you. I mean, I've never had anybody tell me like they've flipped this thing over or anything, or anything crazy like that. So, very good. Well sorted out machine. Yeah. So, uh, let's talk about the rims, John. Yeah, I mean, the wheels have been great so far. It's all pitch black. As you can see, it's very color coordinated. I see some red frame in there, some carbon fiber touch, right? A little gloss back thing, and all, you know, like matted out seats. Pretty neat looking one, right? And let's look at this front right here. It's interesting how they took a design of the KM Spider, but they built a unique, smaller version of it. This is only a 200cc model. By that, it's it's right at about like eight nine horsepower. Right. Great for the streets. Gets up to sixty miles per hour, guys. That's what they say. It gets up to sixty. It might take a while to get there, but it's not a highway bike. It's more for like joy riding around right. the neighborhood, around the streets. Right. So you can have fun with this thing. You Take know? a look at the back. You guys notice one thing about this one? Zoom in right here. So as you can see, this one has a very thick back tire since obviously there's only one tire in the back. Exactly. It does come with one thick tire, so it, I mean, it can handle pretty much, you know, the road, rough roads, anything like that. Uh, so you have that, and like he mentioned, you do have carbon fiber accents on this one. Red frame, and then it comes with black. So I mean, it complements everything. Everything complements each other. Exactly. Uh, so now that we're in the back, I mean, you can see it does have a passenger. Uh, you can hold on, so you can ride two people. So you're on, so you're on uh, pa the passenger will put his uh, legs right here. Obviously the driver has a right. spot right here. And the uh, one thing I like about this, I mean obviously it's an automatic, but not only that, it actually comes with a reverse. That's that's a big, I mean, this thing is heavy. If you try to like back up with your feet on this one, I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's tough. So I really do like the option that gives you reverse. I really love it. So, well compact trike. I mean, it can fit in any part of your garage. You don't have to make special space for it. If you want to park it outside, you can uh, chain them down to like a pole or something where you can keep an eye out on it. You can also buy alarms and stuff like that. So it's really good for the storage too. It does not take up that much space. Insurance, very cheap. I mean, about like $70, $80 for the whole year. It's made by Massimo, built here locally in Garland, Texas. They also come with warranties on the parts, on the engine parts, the transmission parts. Right. So you got you covered. That's not a problem at all. Right. And you can also get them registered, get a street legal. Right. You know, and also we have upgrades for them too, my right. God. I think we've not talked about it yet, but we do have upgrades as far as like audio, video, yeah. LCD screens. We could throw I mean, anything you, in there. You dream it, exactly. we do it. So yeah. you were here for that. And underglow lights too, Mike. Right. The yeah. underglows, yeah. they're I'll, the best. I'll, I love them. You beat me too. Exactly. I was going to say that. <laughs> Right. Right. Talk about the front end. What's, what's going on right here? Yeah, let's take a closer look into this thing so that way you can uh, see some details. So, Sean, tell me what's, what's going on with these two. Like, so, why, why do they you, have these two? So, the reason they put these two is because uh, you want some uh, basic illumination in the night with the headlights. You want to make right. sure it's street legal. So, right. uh, there is some, you know, like requirements uh, right. different, depending on different states. Wow. So, they put an extra light in there just so you can, like, have that. Uh, extra brightness to it right. and then these all these fairings are just for protection see how the swing arms are protected guys these are protection guards right here for your swing arms for its class and i don't think anybody does it except for massimo uh, having these protection uh, layers for their swing arms right there nice a arms in the middle right here they're already preloaded to handle like you know uh street level right. type of bumps and humps you know along and, the way i mean looking at it here it has two disc brakes on each tire exactly oh yes right. for sure you got to have disc brakes guys and they nailed right. it on that one two, Bracing, two brake discs disc brake. on each tire yep. and i really do love this suspension right here in particular because uh you're riding rumpy uh, bumpy roads it almost feels like i mean you're you're riding almost like in a tesla yeah because see now you think about trikes that have like a single drive axle on the rear, right. those small ones, uh, right. they're not very ride friendly when you hit a bump or right. when you have to like, you know, uh, when you want that extra cushion and you don't right. get it, you know, that type of feeling. On this one, you do get this 
jumping up and down, so it's really swift and nice. Let's look at the look at the side right here. So this is the SPI spider, not the SPY. It's a smaller version, but you can see it's for grown size adults too. So I would right. say you could fit in an adult and maybe a small, right? You know, like a youth size, anyone, you know, in there. Let's take a look at the dash while we're at it. Check this out. So it does come with uh, your digital dash. It does come with your digital, digital dash. Uh, it'll tell you if you're in neutral, reverse, uh, it has your uh, RPMs, uh, kilometers right here, and then your gas gauge right here will tell you your trip. So like maybe if you put 300 miles, 400, 500 miles, stuff like that, your mirrors. Uh, you have all your buttons right here, your horn. Hear that? Turn signals, lights, hazards, your kill switch, switch right here. You can turn on your lights, stuff like that. Maybe if you don't want to be riding during the day, obviously you right. won't need them. Your starter, and just with this one, it's, it won't be a thumb a thumb uh, throttle. You actually have a hand throttle. So the way the braking is designed, let's get into that as well. So the way the braking is designed on this one is, this is your rear brake right here. This engages your rear brake with your foot. Front brakes right up here. That's your front brake and it's reservoir right there. Your parking uh, brake right here. This is just for parking, guys. A little bit unconventional to have a parking brake. Yeah. And it just feels like this is the front brake at right. one point, but right. this is only for parking, guys. So let's say if you're parked on an incline, you don't want to slide running off the road, you just grab on it and set the gauge as high as you want, as low as you want. You decide on the intensity and make sure you know you get that thing in there just right. All right. And good set of mirrors is uh, you can she's always upgrade. Uh, you can always upgrade to like the bar end mirrors or you know like uh, whichever style you prefer. Uh, windshield is an optional add-on to it. Underglow the light speakers like we mentioned earlier. This is your for your license plate right here, and this is your license plate light. So it's equipped to be street legal, guys. Equipped to be street legal. So I think uh, <clears throat> you pretty much went over mostly everything. I think it's just the fun part now. I think we yeah. just have some fun. What exactly, Mike. Go and take it out for a spin. Let's take it out, out for a spin. And, I mean, let's turn it on before we take it out for a spin so you can hear the sound of this, this exhaust. I mean, this sounds...